Alright, so we're gonna go up to the front entrance area real quick, which is over here. Ah, you can kind of peek inside the museum itself. It's a cool little room there. Uh, not that I would use it for any kind of photos. Uh, let's see here. All right, so I got one of these things. There's some information about the building itself. So that's cool that they do that. I learn about the history here. There's a little map. I'll show you this. All right, so it says uh, Americans with Disabilities Act compliance to the Jacobo. That's a tough thing to say. Uh, Jacobus Vanderveer House uh, has been made possible by a grant from the New Jersey Cultural Trust with uh, project assistance by the New Jersey Historic Trust. Uh, New Jersey Historic Trust, if you're here on Instagram, it's NJ, uh, NJ Historic. I think, I think it's NJ Historic, or it might be Historic NJ. <laughs> uh, but I know they're active on, on Instagram and they're constantly posting photos about buildings like this. Uh, so they're good to follow as well uh, if you're looking for cool places to take photos. All right, so uh, as I said to you before, I love this path right here, man. That's such a good spot. Uh, so anyway, this is the, the back side. I guess this is considered the back side. Um, so the, the challenge about the photos over on this side of the building, I would say, is the way that the tree uh, and the sun is hitting the building, leaving a lot of harsh shadows. So uh, earlier when I first got here, the shadows were over on this part of the building. Uh, so now the kind of shadows went there. So now I think with the diffuser, uh, you can get some good shots over there. Uh, and this, this is the other half of the building. Uh, it would be nice if they used green tarp. So it is a, it's a tiny little thing, right? Like they, they sell green tarp. Why not put green tarp there? So then at least that goes a little more brown, you know, so it doesn't stand out as much. But again, these people aren't really thinking photographer wise. Um, but anyway, uh, so here's another side of the building. I'm gonna show you the sign real quick that we're gonna read here. Uh, so this is a little bit about the building. It was constructed circa 1772 with a 19th century edition circa 1813. 1995, the house was listed on the National and New Jersey Registers of Historic Places, uh, as most of the locations that I seek out to do these photo shoots are, uh, just because I think it's a great way to honor New Jersey. Uh, and usually because of the ownership, usually the, the buildings are owned by the town, there's a museum, so they're a little bit more uh, okay with uh, photography, uh, especially the kind of place. So anyway, uh, the Jacobus Vanderveer House is significant in United States Revolutionary War military history and stands as the only remaining structure associated with the Continental Artillery Encampment in nearby Pluckman during the winter of 1778-1779. Funding made possible by the Garden State Historic Preservation Trust administered by the New Jersey Historic Trust of New Jersey. Uh, and this is the restoration of the historic main block of Jacobus Vanderveer House made possible in part from the Somerset County Historic Preservation Grant Program. Ah, so that's a little bit about, uh, so that's a little bit about the, um, organization that are involved with helping to maintain this building and this property. So anytime you're doing photo sessions here, uh, and you post them, uh, make sure to give a shout out to, uh, some of these types of corporations so they know. So, uh, but anyway, uh, the building itself is relatively small. I love the property itself though. I love the greenery. Uh, I love the nice blue open skies in the background just like as you can see right there that I'm looking at now uh, and then there's another perk to this place that I'm going to show you in a little bit so uh, this building is on the edge of a park uh, I don't remember the name of the park I'm going to find out and I'll post that in the video um, but at the beginning of the park there's a cool walkover bridge that goes over 206 and along that bridge there are some cool cherry blossoms so I'm gonna head over there I'm gonna take some selfies there and kind of show you that too so I think combining the property itself you know taking photos from here taking photos over by those trees out in the back taking photos by the building uh, and then out on the lawn you know maybe with the building blurred out the combination of those type of things, I, I think we can get a good variety of photos. So uh, if you look at my website, as far as uh, 
the building with NJ Portrait Places right now. If you go to that website, so anyway, we'll um, if you look on NJ Portrait Places uh, right now, when I list locations now, uh, there's a rating system, and U.S. photographers can come out here. You can go onto the website, and you can of course do ratings as well. Uh, that's what I want is more photographers and models to be uh, using the website and talking about different locations, uh, sharing them. So anyway, if you go on there, you'll see that there's a rating system of one to five. So I'm going to rate this location at three, uh, depending on the season. Like I said, with the uh, around Independence Day, with the all the the um, all the American flags that they put out and uh, the bridge that at the beginning that has the cherry blossom there. If you can take advantage of the right season or the right time of day, uh, I think it kicks this location up to a four. Uh, I like the fact that it's quiet here. Uh, as you can see, there's nobody around. Definitely a lot of good privacy here. Uh, there's ample good parking with the parks over there. So I don't believe that there's going to be any kind of a permit fee. Usually permits involved where there's a lot of property maintenance. There's a lot of people walking around. Uh, it's an active place. You have these arboretums and big gardens. Stuff like that usually have permits. Or if they're privately owned buildings, uh, those might have permits. Um, but anyway, places like this that are a little bit less known and they want to raise awareness, uh, I don't think that there's uh, permits usually involved with these types of places. Uh, obviously, you should get permission. Uh, but part of this vlog is about what you experience if you were just uh, a photographer just showing up uh, and seeing what's happening. So here we are in the middle of the day, middle of the afternoon, uh, and it's pretty quiet here. So there, there was no, uh, no, no, no trespassing signs or anything like that. You know, it's pretty much an open field. I think it's all part of the public park that's there. Uh, you just drive past the park, you follow the signs for the house, and you pull right up. So uh, that's a little bit about my experience. So uh, I took tripod, a tripod out. As you, as you saw, I was playing with the, uh, you know, the, the, my phone on a tripod. Didn't really get too involved in the lighting, but I did have the diffuser panel, stuff like that. And it, that wasn't bothered or anything like that. So uh, that's always good to know. So anyway, that's a little bit of about the uh, Jacobus Vanderveer house. And I will see you next time. All right, so we're going to go over to the other side of the bridge. Talk to you soon. All right, so uh, real quick, I'm just going to show you the regular park part of, of this area. Uh, so you can kind of see behind me the you know, baseball fields here, another cool kind of fence area. Uh, but you might have just saw behind me, so there's this uh, walking bridge that still has some good cherry blossoms going. Uh, so let me switch this around and I'll show you real quick. Uh, let's set this camera around. This is part of the. Uh, Bedminster Township Hike Bike Trail. <laughs> oh, love the look of that, especially with the cherry blossom there. Uh, this, is, this is a good spot, I think. All right, and then the bridge continues over 206. Uh, and I love the fact that this part is covered the bridge, obviously to prevent people you know, from jumping off or falling off the bridge, especially onto a major highway. I think I gotta calibrate my thing though. Look at that, that, that looks pretty cool. I love the lines here. That is, that's awesome. I love the lines like that. That's, really cool spot walking back to the bridge you get the covered bridge and you also get the cherry blossoms kind of behind there so uh, I think if you can kind of zoom in blur out some of those uh, the cherry blossom behind them that would be a really cool spot so look at that even the I like that even the walking underneath is pretty damn cool so uh so yeah so for a photo session if you can incorporate this bridge and you can incorporate the house uh and you can incorporate the cherry blossoms for this time of year that's what i think that kicks it up to a four uh and the only reason why it's not a five is because i haven't done an actual photo session here just until uh so i can't really be a full judge of that. all right so anyway uh, once again this is a uh, scooter rock NJ Portrait Places. Uh, I hope you got some value out of this video uh, learning about the uh, Jacobus Vanderveer house and I will see you next time. So uh, definitely go to, go to NJ Portrait Places if you've been to this house uh, and you're taking photos at this historic place. Uh, make sure to leave a review and talk a little bit about your experience. So all right take care.